Hello, this is Gauri Gaur. Our today's topic is Fundamentals of Business and Accounting. In this session, we will discuss accounting process. The accounting process starts with identifying accounting transactions, recording it in journal, classifying in ledger, making of trial balance, adjusting the trial balance and then preparation of final accounts. These are based on accounting rules. The accounting process is first of all we have to identify the financial transaction then recording the transaction in the books of primary entry that is journal then classifying the accounts in the books of ledger then balancing the ledger accounts afterwards preparation of trial balance then adjusting the trial balance and telling it at the last preparation of final accounts let us discuss traditional rules of accounting while entering into any recording of the financial transaction, rules of accounting are to be applied as First, personal account. These are the accounts of the persons with whom the organization deals in various capacities. For example, capital account, account of the customers, account of suppliers, bank or financial institutions, etc. Rule of debit credit is debit the receiver, credit the giver. Second is real account. These are the accounts of assets and liabilities. For example, first of all, it is tangible assets like land and building. Second, plant and machinery. Third, vehicles. Fourth, furniture, fixtures and fittings. Fifth, cash on hand. Sixth, stock on hand. Seventh, intangible assets like goodwill, patents, trademark, copyrights, etc. Rule of debit and credit is debit what comes in, credit what goes out. Third is nominal account. These are the accounts of incomes and expenses. For example, salary account, commission account, printing and stationery account, insurance account, telephone expenses account, interest paid and interest received account, commission paid and commission received account, etc. Rules of debit and credit is debit all expenses and losses, credit all incomes and gains. Now let us understand modern rules of accounting. Modern rules of accounting are first is if there is increase in asset, asset account is debited while if there is decrease in asset, asset account is credited. Second is if liabilities decreases, liability account is debited. While if liability increases, liability account is credited. Next is capital account. It decreases amount to be debited. It increases amount to be credited. Next is if revenue account like rent received decreases, revenue account is debited. While if it increases, revenue account is credited. Next expenditure account like salary paid, wages paid, etc. When increases, expense account is debited or when it decreases, expense account is credited. Next, withdrawal account, that is drawings. When drawings increases, drawing account is debited, while if it decreases, drawing account is credited. Do you have any idea about main books of accounts required to be maintained by all business identities? The basic book of account is journal. A journal is called a book of prime entry or a book of original entry as all the business transactions are entered first in this book. The word journal means daily record. The transactions are entered in this book as and when they occur. In this book both the aspects that is the receiving aspect as well as the giving aspect of the transaction are recorded. The process of recording a transaction in the journal is called journalizing. The entries made in the journal are called journal entry. Let us discuss steps in journalizing. It is the process of recording the business transaction in the journal that referred to as the book of original entry or book of prime entry. The various transactions are entered in the journal in order in which they happen as to date. First is take up the transaction one by one. Read and analyze the transactions carefully from the business entity point of view and identify the accounts that are affected by the transaction. Second, identify the account affected into three categories classified into personal, real and nominal account. Third step is 
each class has its rule of debit and credit. Now apply the relevant rules and decide which account is to be debited and which account is to be credited. Let us understand the process of journalizing with the help of an example. First transaction commenced business with capital of 50,000 rupees includes two accounts cash and capital where cash is an asset or real account while capital is liability or personal account. Now as per the rule of debit and credit cash the asset increases whereas capital is liability which also increases therefore capital account is credited by 50,000 rupees in the same way the accounts involved in the remaining all transactions are debited and credited as per the rules of debit and credit. All business transactions are recorded in the books of account in two stages. First is journalizing and second posting into ledger. We have discussed what is journalizing. Now let us see what is ledger. Ledger is the book which contains all accounts affected by various transactions in a business. All the accounts are classified and summarized in a ledger whether they are personal, real or nominal accounts. It is permanent ultimate and up-to-date record of all transactions which are easy to refer. It has two sides debit and credit side also known as T form of account. Let us understand the format of ledger account. An account is summarized record of all transactions relating to a particular person or an item. The format of ledger account is the left hand side indicated as DR that is debit side of the account and right hand side is indicated as CR which is credit side of the account. Moving further let us discuss steps involved in ledger posting. First step is the accounting entries are recorded in a journal. They form the basis for recording in the ledger account and the process of entering the transactions in the ledger is called posting. Second step each journal entry has minimum two accounts therefore those two accounts are to be prepared in ledger account with debit and credit side. For example for cash purchases entry will be purchase account debited and cash account credited. Third step is posting of this is to be done in both the accounts. In purchase account debit side write to cash account and in cash account credit side by purchase account. Fourth is while posting the account the same date will appear as it appears in the journal. Next step is there is no narration recorded in the ledger accounts. Then sixth is the folio column will contain the page number of the journal where that particular entry is recorded so that it can be cross checked. In journal we write LF that is ledger folio and in ledger we write JF that is journal folio. Next step is the amount will remain in the same for the respective account as it appears in the journal entry. Let us see how the ledger accounts can be prepared from the transactions explained for journalizing. Here in this table we can see that cash increases in the transactions 1, 4, 8 and 9. Therefore the cash accounts are debited which are posted on debit side of the cash account cash decreases in transactions 2 and 7 therefore cash account is credited in journal and posted on credit side of cash account. Now let us see the difference between debit and credit side. Total of debit side in cash account is 1,17,500 rupees therefore 1,6500 is closing balance of cash. In the same manner in the first, first transaction capital is credited in journal 
by 50,000 rupees which is posted on the credit side of the capital account. By closing capital account, it shows closing balance of 50,000 rupees. Next topic of today's discussion is trial balance. Trial balance is the summary of all the accounts which are carried forward to the next period. Every debit has an equal credit. This is the principle of double entry system. In journal, we have debited and credited an equal amount. Therefore, the total in the journal book is the same on both the sides. In ledger, the debit and credit get scattered into different accounts and hence we get balance in the particular account. Those balances are to be listed in a particular manner and that list of accounts is prepared in the trial balance. Various steps in preparing trial balances are, first step is each ledger account is to be closed and the balance is to be found out. Second. Excess of the debit side over credit side is a debit balance represented by buy balance carry forward. Third step is excess of credit side over debit side is the credit balance represented by two balance carry forward. The next step if debit side is equal to credit side there is no balance remaining and the account is closed. Next step the trial balance will contain the account and its balance. Then trial balance must tally as we have given equal debit credit effect. Next is if suppose the total does not tally it means that there is a recording error in posting the entries in ledger accounts. Then trial balance is a prerequisite for final accounts. Let us see the format of trial balance. Let us see how the trial balance can be prepared from the ledger accounts prepared in the earlier section. For preparing trial balance, first see all the ledger account. If you see capital account, it shows closing balance of rupees 50,000 which is shown on credit side of the trial balance. The same way cash account shows balance of 106,500 which is shown as opening balance in cash account on debit side. The same 106,500 is shown in debit column of trial balance after recording all balances from all ledger accounts the total of trial balance is made. If there is no error in recording transactions the total of trial balance tallies because same amount is debited to one account and credited to other account by the same amount. Let us summarize the discussion at the end with remark that we discussed in this session how to record business transactions in journal, how the ledger accounts are prepared and trial balance is extracted from the balances of ledger accounts. Thank you.